That's another moon. What an you, you got a fatty on you, bro. Damn. The crownless. The Threnodian has reconstructed its frequencies. Hello, motherfucker. know about that man I'm trying to I'm trying to you cannot be for real yeah that brother's starving yes, sir. <laughs> that moon has cannibalized the crownless's remaining frequencies to create another monster I remember I saw it during the battle beneath the crescent Watch out for its ranged attacks. Rover, have you noticed? It avoids attacking the moon behind. That moon must be the core of our enemy. This thing is weakening. I'll show you from its attacks. Rover, find a chance to strike its core. We copied my weapon already, huh? Hide the time.
begins. Bad timing. No hesitation. One more time. <laughs> as the conceptualization of war, somehow it opted to flee instead of fighting us properly. Rover, is that... This place is collapsing soon. Let's get out of here first. Extra supplies. Gather round, I have a tale to spin. Our feather-haired maiden faces a horde of beasts. And just in time, a ray of light. Sunbeams burst through the clouds, banishing darkness out of sight. From the statue emerged two, guess who we have? None other than General Jian and the legendary rover. 
And lo, ruins fell, a colossus shattered, the Overthrax meets its defeat. Mountains and rivers exulted in glee as the war's finale came to be. As they say, why fear when fate is ours to shape? Amidst setbacks, heroes will rise to conquer. Their determination fuels the fire of hope in our darkest hour. Under starlit skies, we battled, divine rune roaring above. Now victorious, our songs of triumph shall shake the clouds. And our story goes on.